I would like to upgrade my notebook MSE Dominator GT72 uh, to QD. It's slightly older notebook. I originally bought it with slightly lower uh, configuration, uh, smaller hard drive and smaller uh, SSD, lower RAM because uh, it was basically cheaper. Um, right now I'm ready to upgrade it and I found out that it's pretty easy to upgrade the hard drives uh, even though it has some limitations. Uh, let's get into it. Basically what do you need? Uh, if you need? If you want to upgrade RAM, have more DDR3 RAM, original the uh, RAM in this notebook uh, runs at 1600 uh, MHz, so if you can get this one, uh, one terabyte hard drive, you can upgrade to two terabyte hard drive. You should stick to seven millimeter hard drive, in though, even though I think you could slightly uh, increase the height of the uh, um, hard drive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, dare buying those uh, 15 millimeter hard drives they wouldn't fit uh, even though there is still some space left with the 7 millimeter and uh, of course you can get SSD I you can have up to four not SSD but uh, well it is M SSD uh, M2 slot uh, drive so I uh, got this one 500 gigabyte um, SSD M2 drive uh, I was uh, thinking and choosing carefully if I could use the upgraded uh, version that runs uh, 1000 something megabytes per second uh, but then I realized that uh, it wouldn't uh, run that fast in this notebook. There's some limitation with uh, SATA 3 uh, connector so this type works just fine. Uh, plus you need some basic screwdrivers. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, and you need some decent uh, Swedish beer. <laughs> uh, there are seven screws you need to unscrew in the corners, in the middle and unfortunately uh, behind the warranty sticker, one in the middle. Seven screws are together, you just get into it. Once done, you have to carefully Crack open the back side of the notebook. You can see the insides of the notebook. Since it's pretty big notebook, there's plenty of space. There are the big fans for the graphics card and the CPU processor. You can see the wireless options. Uh, there are two slots for standard um, hard drive. Well, the, it's the notebook type. Um, you can use without without any special devices. You can use only one of the slots. On the other hand, you can use all four slots, M2 slots, on, on, that are on this card. And that's what we are going to do. Plus, uh, there, is, there are the slots for uh, RAM memory. Uh, notebook has altogether four sockets for the memory. Two are uh, hidden and non-accessible or not easily accessible since we are going to plug inside just one stick we have no problem with that so if we want to upgrade the memory get the memory find the socket push it in gently it has to click and that's it you have doubled the memory if you want to change the Notebook hard drive. Take another 7mm hard drive, carefully lift this old setting. There's no screw or anything, you just have to be careful.
push it in, push it gently into the free space there is, yeah, everything is clicked, you can see there is still, I would say at least 3 millimeters of space left, so it, this hard drive could be slightly bigger. And now getting to upgrade the SSDs, I want to show you how this whole rig works. Yeah. There are altogether four SSD slots, more than enough for us. So If we want to add another M2 SSD, let's unscrew this click it in That's it. Right now, now we want to avoid any further problem. I would suggest to turn it on even without the bottom side, just to test it if it works, and we will see. Good news it the good news is <laughs> it works. And we can see Well we have checked the system, it works just fine. We had a little trouble with changing of the D drive, the letter of the D drive for F. We solved that, I think we can close this with returning the lid onto the notebook. Cheers!